Hello, you're watching Altec 2K Gaming, and in this one I'm going to show you how to defeat the Searing Exarch. This fight is pretty straightforward apart from certain parts which become really frantic. Let's get right to it. While he has between 75 and 100% of his life remaining, he does three kinds of attacks. One is just a basic attack, which you can see swiping out at my minions there. Another one is where he says disintegration and launch a flame wall in front of him. It's really easy to dodge this, just get behind him and don't walk through it. And then the other phrase he likes to say quite frequently is annihilation. At this point he starts to channel fire towards you. The best way to deal with it is just to run around him in a circle. Once he drops below 75% health, he'll start adding an extra phrase to his lineup, which is incineration. In this one, fire lines will start to spread around the floor, heading outwards. You need to move to the edge of the arena as quickly as possible. This does an awful lot of damage and will one-shot most players, even with max fire res. As soon as the explosion occurs, you can head straight back in towards him. You'll also notice those circles on the floor. These appear to be mines that do damage if you stand on them. The longer the fight goes on, the more of these will span the arena, and the harder it is to move around safely. These do not appear to do a massive amount of damage however, so you should be pretty safe as long as you don't run over hundreds of them. Once the boss drops below 50% health, this is where things get really interesting. At this point he will summon rolling meteors from the edges of the arena, all four of them at once. These will converge towards the player. Now you will notice that the maven attempts to clear a path by shooting through them. However, the holes she creates in the meteors are very small, so you will need to run to those holes and pass through them without hitting the balls. The meteors do do an awful lot of damage, you will not survive more than a couple of them hitting you. For people playing minions or golems such as myself, we have a slight advantage in that we can throw our minions in front of us so that they hit the meteors first and make bigger holes in the walls that we can then walk through. Between these meteor rounds, he will continue with all of the skills that he used in the previous rounds. At this point you've now seen all of his mechanics, so we can skip towards the end of the fight and just watch the end of it. Once you kill him, you'll unlock both a favoured map slot, and if it's your first kill, the Omniscient Voidstone. I hope this saves you from going in blind and dying like I did the first time I attempted this fight. If it did, then please tickle that like button, it'll like a lot. And with that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.